everyone. So today we're going to talk about specializing versus not specializing. So this is a question I get asked all the time and I had the same dilemma as everyone else when I was a adult student. So if you want to know more about it, please continue watching. narrow this question down to just three points. I want to be concise and I think after going through these three points in your mind you'll know if you're more suitable for specializing or you would be better off as a general dentist. There is no right or wrong. There's no one thing is better than the other. It's really what works best for you, for your given situation and for your you know mentality. Everybody's different. So I ended up specializing in periodontics, but that doesn't mean you have to. You know, what worked for me doesn't mean it's what will be best for you. So let's get right into it. So number one is, if you're a dental student, um, when you start at Sim Labs in D2 or even D1, when you start seeing patients in D3 and D4, are there certain things that you like more than others? That's the one question you need to ask yourself. Is there certain things, as Mary Kondo would say, spark joy for me? For example, I knew right away that I love extractions more than any other procedure, I think, in dental school. Uh, I just get that feeling of, like, heart when I go and extract my patient's teeth. Okay, that sounds really weird, but that means that I really like surgery, so I narrow that down. So ask yourself, what do you like? Do you like setting teeth um, in a denture lab? Or do you like prepping veneers? Or do you like a little bit of everything? Um, know that for a specialty, for me, why I picked it, one of the reasons is that I really like surgery and I like perio. And I want to be good at just like a few things, like five, six, things I really need to focus on versus as a general dentist I feel like you have to be good at a variety of things which some of my friends are they're super GBs and that's great but for me and my personality I like the idea of knowing some things really 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 well and that's one of the reasons why I specialize. Is number two work lifestyle so it's a little bit different once you're a general dentist versus a specialist i mean your hours are going to be similar of like eight to five nine to six something like a set schedule which is great in dentistry but what's different is that for a general dentist you get to keep the cases that you want to keep and give away those cases that you find more complicated to specialists to handle Whereas if you're a specialist, say you're an oral surgeon, and your friend who's a general dentist gave you a case of wisdom, you know, a set of wisdom teeth to extract, you're not going to be like, oh, this looks hard, let me uh, give it away. Like, no one would refer you cases if you do that, right? Because your, your patients as a specialist is based on referrals with a general dentist. So when the general dentist refer you patients, they expect you to really know your stuff. So know that as a specialist, when you get those cases, you're keeping those cases. So I think that's like a big difference between the two as well. Another thing that I want to bring up is because you are dependent as a specialist on the cases, the referral cases that you're getting, you are going to have to put yourself out there in the community so that the general dentists around where you live know that you're a specialist, you know, know what you can do so that they can refer the cases out to you. So you have to hustle a bit to get those cases. Whereas the general dentist, I mean, you still have to self-promote your clinics. The patients know, you know, that you're a general dentist and you do great work, but at least you're not dependent on your colleagues in getting those patients. So that's another difference. All right, the last point I want to talk about is um, commitment, time, and money. This is a very, like... This is a very realistic question that you gotta ask yourself. For example, if you wanna specialize, say, in oral surgery, what my husband did, he did the six years route, that's a lot of time on your part that you have to be willing to take out 
and stay committed in learning that specific field um, versus uh, say if you want to do uh, general dentistry and you want to buy a practice right away you got to think about all the loans or um, all the business aspects of it so those are all important things to think about know the obstacles that you will be facing no matter which route you choose which way you decide to go because if you can identify the possible challenges that will come at you i think it'll be a lot easier to face them with you know the a better mental mind and you'll be able to solve them a little easier because you see them coming so that's that's important i think and um, I would say a bonus thing I'll throw in there. This question I get asked all the time is money and job aspects for whichever pathway you choose, either a general dentist or a specialist. So I get asked, oh, well, I make more as a specialist. Well, that really depends. Some, a lot of my um, general dentists are doing um, a lot better than my friends in specialty or vice versa. It's entirely dependent on what you make out of it it's not based on if you're a general dentist or you're a specialist that really has like no relevance in this if you have passion in what you do and you work hard and you know your stuff i think you're gonna go far either way so don't let money be a determining factor of if you should specialize or not Okay, because you're going to do well either way. Just just know what fits better for you and what, what you think you'll be happier in. Alright, so another bonus that I have and I get asked all the time is, am I too old to specialize? No, you're not. You're not. Like, whatever your age is, I'm just going to say no. Because if you like it, that's the most important thing. Honestly, like, if you're going to regret not specializing, you're not going to let yourself... You're going to beat yourself over this, beat yourself up over this, and you don't want that. So I think that's the most important thing. Are you going to have challenges? Yes, you are. You are going to have challenges. Actually, no matter what age, if you have a family, if you don't have a family, everybody faces challenges. So you just got to find a way to, again, kind of try to identify the challenges that you may foresee yourself having so that you have a... Uh, a way to solve them but don't let those be obstacles to you know that if you really want it you can do it just don't do anything that you think you'll regret all right i think that's it if there's any more questions that you want to ask regarding this subject please comment below please like and subscribe to my channel if you're into anything dentistry life or beauty all right bye